Junk Dump here, and today we're going to look at an HEI distributor. This one is out of an Oldsmobile, um, which is General Motors product. This is going to be the seven pin module type, and uh, this does not have a vacuum advance. I uh, would not suggest using this kind for any kind of performance upgrade, but a lot of what you see here is going to go for any HEI distributor. Here the coil negative wires on the right, it's white. On the left here, the coil positive red. And right here, you see the ground where it connects to the housing. You'll notice underneath the rotor that there's no weights, no advance weights and such, and that's because these are electronically controlled, and the advance is done electronically. That's why the base, you'll notice, won't even turn. It's keyed in, in place. And that's another reason why you wouldn't want to use this rotor for performance, is, is that it would be very hard to upgrade it in a way, because it won't accept a vacuum advance. It's going to be hard to get that vacuum advance, and you'll find without one that your car will run fairly hot. And also, your performance will be lacking without that vacuum advance. This is the GM 7-pin ignition module. They make a 5-pin and a 4-pin. I would say the, the 4 pins are probably the easiest to work with for aftermarket parts and such. Depending on how difficult it is to get that distributor gear off in the main shaft, you may have to sand up those holes in order to get everything to line up back again um, more easily. This is the pickup coil and it's at the heart of your distributor. This is what actually creates the signal that tells the, the engine timing. Um, so it's really critical. To test this, those green and yellow wires, you just want to connect a multimeter to that. With a continuity test, you should hear it beep. Spin it and you should hear it beep um, for each time one of those poles comes around and lines up.
it's important at this point that nothing binds up. So that's why you're leaving everything loose and lightly snug so that you can turn that main shaft and make sure that there's no, no hangups. Um, they should make very close contact, but they shouldn't hang up on each other. It's important that you don't force the alignment of the roll pin here. Just make sure those holes line up and gently tap it through and it should go through pretty easily. Marking cylinder one on the housing will help you when it comes time to actually install the distributor into the car and to get it um, closer to TDC and such. Now I'm going to demonstrate a trick when you're installing a distributor into an Oldsmobile engine or actually any other engine. When installing it, you want to put the housing in the location that you want it and turn that rotor into place as you're setting it down. So see as I'm demonstrating the installation, the housing is staying put and the rotor starts off before that number one mark and then rotates into place as those gears mesh with the back of the camshaft. Don't forget that ground bracket when you're putting in your coil. Also, some cars came with a ground bracket, some cars came with, with a wire. Um, so make sure you, whatever your car came with, you kind of put all that back into place. And that about does it for the overview on this 7-pin ignition module HEI distributor. Um, I'll try to get my hands on some other models distributors and take those apart too if, if uh, that helps anybody out as well. So thanks for watching.